Hey guys, it's Gearhead. Welcome to another Forza video. And this is probably going to be one of the last Motorsport 6 videos I'll do for right now. Uh, so Horizon 3 drops, well, at the time this was filmed, the, tomorrow, but the day this was uploaded today. So uh, if you haven't already seen it, like a live stream or something yet, uh, well, yeah, this is uh, the day that Forza Horizon 3 drops. Um, and this is Forza Motorsport 6. Uh, this is um, Josh Cartoo's F12. Now, if you don't know who Josh Cartoo is, he's a very famous Ferrari egghead kind of guy. He lives in Budapest. He's been in a lot of Shmi 150 videos, which I've watched Shmi for about a year or so now. Uh, I, I watched him back when he had the 650S Spider. Um, and Josh is one of his friends. Uh, on Gumball 3000, which is a rally I love and I dream of going on one day, uh, this is what Josh's F12 looked like during the rally. Of course, there are some serious mods to this one in particular in the game. Uh, this one's been modified to have over 1,100 horsepower in a twin turbo variant of that 6 liter V12, which is a beastly engine on its own. Turn on the lights, and as you can see, it's blued out completely. But uh, anyway, I'll show you guys all the tunes and stuff for this car real quick. Uh, 0 to 16 to 2.7 seconds, 0 to 100 and 5.2, top speed of 251.3. Uh, braking distance 113 feet from 60 to 0 and 283 feet for 100 to 0. Lateral G's 60 miles per hour 1.33 1, 120 1.39 lateral G's. That's a lot. Um, final drive is 3.20. First is 3.33. Second is 2.59. Third is 2.01. Fourth is 1.58. Fifth is 1.30. Sixth is 1.10. And seventh is 1.00. Alignment, I zeroed out the camber and stuff because this track, this car is going to be kind of balanced. It's not really going to be used for much. Uh, it's more of a show car, personally. Uh, got caster on it. Uh, it's a little on the laggy side right now. Let's give it a second to catch. Sadly, this is a problem that's plagued all my live streams the last few days. Alright, I think it's about caught, so... Move on to the next thing. Anti-roll bars. Left these alone. I usually don't modify anti-roll bars. Uh, I did have a Jeep that I made. I'm probably going to make... I might make a video on it. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll probably redo the build in Horizon 3. Springs. 1338.7 uh, on the front. 1385.3 on the back. I prefer to oversteer and then understeer. Uh, and as low as possible in the ride height. 4.1 inches. Um... Rebound stiffness, uh, left these all alone. I do usually don't modify dampers. Aero, this car doesn't have any aero kits on it. It's a, they are available for the car, but I don't have them on. Uh, braking force is balanced at 50%, and I had the pressure up to 125. At one point, it was at 200, but to film the intro, I needed the brake pressure to be down so I could actually get the back tires to spin on a power brake. Of course, I decided not to do a power brake anyway, so it doesn't even matter. But the car still won't power brake. Um, diff, I have it locked to 100% on acceleration and 35 on deceleration. So yeah, we're going to head out to the track now. And by the track, I mean the open space. And, uh, show you guys. Uh, three, two, one, now. This car is absolutely fast. I love it. Holy cow, 180. I'm gonna hit my brakes earlier than usual because I'll hit that wall if I don't. Oh gosh, we're cutting it close. And if you're wondering, I'm running with no stability, no traction control, so we're gonna be sliding like crazy. Oh, that noise. Ooh, I love it. I love the sound of turbos. I really do. This car is just so awesome. I love this car, I really do. The F12 is just amazing. I'm not gonna like it. I'd say. Oh, it's still space. Oh, man.
Get that Navy Speed Underground drift camera angle right here. Alright, well I've had my fun guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this build video. Like I said, this is probably the last Forza Motorsport 6 video uh, for a while. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care everyone.